Hello everyone, my name is Izati and today I'm going to talk about centrifugal pump. Centrifugal pump is a mechanical device designed to move a fluid by means of the transfer of rotational energy from one or more driven rotors. Centrifugal pump is specified for higher flows and pumping lower viscosity liquid. Centrifugal pump can be divided between stale stage and multi-stage, horizontal and vertical, open impeller and closed impeller. Centrifugal pump consists of four main parts, which are impellers, pump casing, suction pipe with foot valve strainer, and delivery pipe. Now, I will explain about the impeller. Impeller is the key of component for centrifugal pump. There are three types of impellers, which are open, semi-open, and closed impeller. Fluid will enter the rapidly impeller along its axis and it cast out by centrifugal force along its circumference. The increasing velocity of fluid will cause the pressure to increase and also direct to it towards the pump outlet. Fluid will enter the impeller at its axis and exit along the circumference between the valves. The impeller on the opposite side of the eye is connected through a drive shaft to a motor and rotated at high speed typically between 500 to 5000 rpm pump casing pump casing is specially designed to constrict the fluid from the pump inlet direct into the impeller and then slow and control the fluid before discharge there are two basic designs of pump casing which are volute and diffuse volute design for volute design the impeller offset creates a curved funnel with an increasing cross-sectional area towards the pump outlet. This design causes fluid pressure to increase towards the outlet. Diffuser design For diffuser design, fluid pressure increases as the fluid is expelled between a set of stationary valves around the impeller. There are lots of centrifugal pumps out there, but today I am going to focus about Kent Motor Pump. Kent Motor Pump is specifically used in chemical industry to transfer and circulation tasks, particularly for supercritical fluids. The pump and motor are integrated in the sealed leak proof structure at the centrifugal Kent Motor Pump. For the working principle of can motor pump, the fluid is moved by a centrifugal pump through the use of a centrifugal force. Fluid is taken into the center of the impeller through the inlet connection. This fluid is then caught by the valves of the impeller as it spins. This rotation of the fluid is moved mechanically by the veins to the outside of the impeller and towards the discharge part of the liquid end of the pump. This mechanical movement of the discharge pressure of the pump varies like inlet fluid supply pressure, impeller diameter, motor horsepower, and closed face versus open face. All of these will affect the flow and pressure of the pump. Each of these variables can be manipulated to achieve a desired flow or pressure. It's all from me. Thank you. Hope this video will help you with your studies.